he always performs pretty well. So we'll see what he, him and uh, Salem can do uh, against Plague and Amiibo King. Um, I would imagine Salem still plays Bayo. Actually, I don't know that Salem plays any character other than Bayo. I have never seen it, but I, I'm going to put my money on the fact that he's going Salem in this for... Er, <laughs> he's going Bayonetta in this for sure. Because I remember Salem didn't like play this game like too much um, before Bayo's release. He, like, so he was a Brawl Zero Suit. He played Zero Suit in this game, who doesn't really feel the same at all. Um, Brawl Zero Suit was more of like a passive character. You know, she was like, um, she was a zoner. Um, she didn't have as many like up close options as she does in this game, and her side B was like cra I don't know if you've ever seen a brawl side B, but that move is crazy. And um, <laughs> in this game, she's a little bit more aggressive, and I feel like she doesn't quite fit Salem's style as much. I've I've seen him like try uh, Villager and Sheik, but he didn't really enter too much until Bayo got released, and he basically said like Bayo feels like what Brawl Zero Suit did. Wow. So that's why he plays her, and she just you know. Fits like a glove. <laughs> so, we do get the nest, but we do actually get Greninja out of Plague, which I, I appreciate this because this is like ge generically named and uh, Salem. That's a good team. So, I feel like he's going with Greninja just because he knows this is his main. Comfort, this is yeah. who he's going to play best with. And, you know, Greninja, like we said before, his mobility and his combo game and everything that he has, I can't see why that'd be detrimental in doubles. But, oh, oh my goodness, Salem trying to end his stock early. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One F throw from Cloud leads to a Bayo combo. That's crazy. Right, yeah, this is a this is a this is pure synergy oh, we're seeing here. No, is wow. that like a nest forward area or something? Salem oh, dies early. He makes up for it though with Immediately that. Immediately yeah. gives Amiibo King the fist. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh, but oh, he, he saved, saved him. him. Yep. That was very fortunate. <gasps> oh no. That's so unfortunate. That is uncharacteristic. Plague's Hydro Pump carried Ness off of his PK Thunder. Oh, did it? Yeah, and that was kind of his own yeah, doing. That's, that's rough. Yeah, that's one of the things oh about this, this team combo, though, that we're going to see that they have to work around is Ness's offstage recovery. And uh, you have to be careful because every single one of these characters, maybe with the exception of Cloud, has the ability to interrupt it. Yeah, they're... I really like what I'm seeing from blue team. Salem is like, he's just going in and dealing with both players like almost at the same time. And every time he needs a little bit of support, uh, generically named is there for oh him. My oh God, my he's gosh! Got both of them in the cross combo. slash into uh, Witch Twist. That's big damage. And generically named does drop his uh, first stock to that nest back throw there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Bayonetta is solid with Cloud in this matchup because honestly, like like you said before. Bayonetta can almost handle both of them by herself, almost. So what he wants to do there is just give Generically Named a chance to, to get his limit. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to go up there and just challenge him up front and just try to make sure that uh, he can get his limit. And then when he has limit, this is a scary, scary team. It already is even more scarier. I mean, Bayonetta is, Bayonetta is more like a, almost like a sing, like one-on-one -on -one in doubles situation almost. She, she 2v1s a lot. She yeah. has the tools to do so. Yeah. And uh, I feel like I remember Ori, because I've, I've done this team before. Uh, I feel like, oh my, my gosh. Amazing platform pressure from Salem. And we are just seeing blue team dominate right now. Yeah, right now what you were seeing there was, I mean, they were absolutely as far away from the center of the stage as possible just with these 1v1s going. And that's exactly what they want, because they're going to win these 1v1s. Oh, yeah. And uh, I feel like... Okay, what, what I was going to say is I feel like Ori's told me that, like, Cloud and Bayonetta actually have some nice throw combos. Like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Cloud, um, Cloud's F throw combos into, like, Bayo up smash. Bayo up smash is really easy to combo into just because of how right. big the hitbox is. Cloud has, um, Cloud has some of the best throws for doubles oh, of any for character. Sure. Oh, and for when sure. you combo that with Bayonetta, who has her huge hitbox F smash, or uh, smash attacks, and her witch, and her witch combos, mm -hmm. that's deadly. It only takes one, and all of a sudden you see 30 damage on him with one throw. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And I feel like Bayonetta not, like, known for her, co like, team combos out of throws, but, like, I feel like it doesn't matter if your, like, throws are good double throws. Cloud can capitalize because he can threaten, like, extremely powerful options from pretty much anywhere. So as long as he has limit, it doesn't really matter how good your throws are, like, generally, if they're amazing or not. He, he, if you throw him, he'll capitalize. Absolutely. Both of these uh, players have huge hitboxes. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to get the wish twist, and he's... Oh, but he 
Good save Plague, from yeah. Plague, yeah. Breaking that up, and that's exactly what he needs to do. Cannot allow Bayonetta to finish that combo. Now we're seeing right. a little bit more of an even game. Red Team actually wow. controlling the stage right now. Red Team was doing just a great option of just challenging them in the air and just keeping them up. That was and it ends with a kill. That was an awesome mix-up from Plague. He definitely like, had a good opportunity to edge guard Salem, but Salem went just a little too far off, respected it, and uh, got some damage on generically named instead. So, like, You can tell that these players like know what they're doing in doubles, you know, mixing up who they're attacking and um, helping out their teammates. And right now, Red um, Team actually in the lead. It's Amiibo King doing work. That's the third kill he's gotten, and, and really that's the second kill in a row he's gotten with the Noggin, the up air. Yeah, it's such a powerful move, oh, especially on Duck Hunt. And in all the chaos that's going on, these are just, they're just not able to land well. So they're definitely playing the aerial game really strong right now, just beating them in the air where they know they can. Yeah, they're not letting, like, Salem get the openings that he was last game. They're causing, like, uh, generically named to have to intervene a little bit, and that's hindering, like, both players on Blue Team because, um, of course, Salem isn't getting the damage that he was, and, like, generically named because he has to kind of come in and help more. He's not, like, getting limit charge as easily. And uh, as long as they can keep blue team from, like, starting up their momentum, they may just be able to take this game. Exactly. All Bayonetta wants to do right now, all Salem is trying to do is just kind of keep them off so Cloud can get limit and set up these kill confirms. But they're not allowing that. They're just kind of forcing, like you said, forcing generically named to come in and approach, and he gets caught in some attacks. and. It's in the sending in stocks. Yep, but Amiibo King gonna drop his stock to that forward smash there. Um, actually did a good job of like living for a very long time, survived the limit cross slash attempt. Oh. All right. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. The blades. Who knew water was so powerful? Yeah, but that <laughs> reversal from Salem. Uh, yeah, saved his I, life. I thought he was dead, and uh, turns out he wasn't. Came right back. And oh my gosh, this edge guard. That would have put them right at an even matchup here if that had happened, but Salem's still maintaining his stock, and they have a stock to play with here. Ooh. I feel like Amiibo King had a solid opportunity to edge guard her oh. death there, but just missing the back air. Yeah, the tail of that PK Thunder, I think, was what made Salem unable to witch time. And wow, that was a great escape. He missed the PK Thunder, saw that generically named was coming in with the down air, and was just like, nope, I'm out, and left right. with the PK Thunder. <laughs> Absolutely great awareness. Oh no. Amiibo King has to do what he can to stay alive. He's been dying a little too early in these matchups. He needs to keep his stocks a little bit better. If he can stay alive here, they'll have a chance. If they can get rid of Cloud. I like what oh, Amiibo no. King's doing, just respecting the limit cross slash. He knows you can't punish it out of shield if the last hit connects on your shield. But Plague in a little bit of trouble here. And uh, right now, the like. He just needs I, to find a he needs to find a kill throw on, on Cloud. Yeah, I feel like Red oh, Team's gonna no. be looking to take out generically named, but generically named not having any of it. No. Nope. Uh, taking out Amiibo King and then immediately being able to charge limit. He's gonna take that with that limit cross slash and blue team yep. takes it in just convincing kinda him. fashion. Just kinda pinned him there. Nothing he could do. Ends up in the cross slash. Convincing a little better they kept it a lot closer this game. Yeah, it was it was really nice adaptation from 